What's up you guys? My name is Bradley Jones Parnell and I am back this week with another video. I also asked you to send me some Q&A questions via Facebook and Twitter. So, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so the first question comes from Jackie. She asks, what did you want to do or be when you were 10 years old? So when I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a doctor. I walked around my entire like hillside in the country because my grandparents, my great grandparents, my aunt and us lived on this, we call it the hillside. <laughs> and I used to travel around to all their houses and uh, pretending to give them blood work. I had taken one of the little bandage things that you tie your arm up with uh, from the doctor's office and I would use a pin to pretend to take their blood and uh, I have a little clipboard and I would write down like their diagnosis. So yeah, I wanted to be a doctor, but honestly that changed. <laughs> so Amanda asks, what made you choose LA over other fashion capitals? I must admit that I said no, never again to LA. I did my internship out here in 2011, had a great experience with the company, hated the city, but fashion is moving to LA. Like, all the cool kids are in LA now, so that's very exciting, and I can't wait to see what kind of develops from here. So I have a great question that came in from my friend Nisha. She says and asks, I think that you can certainly offer a unique perspective having grown up in the Deep South. Do you think that has influenced your views on life and love, and in what ways? So, that is a loaded question. Thanks so much for that, Nisha. Um, okay. So, I see my life in three stages. I see my life from the time that I lived with my family, through grade school, up through the end of high school. Then I see a second chunk of my life being in college and moving away but still being in the South and learning from that group of people and my friends and then I see my life now where it is in LA. I see like my home life when I was very young as being very positive. But I was also a very sheltered person when it came to, to having my own voice at least from my perspective, it felt that if you didn't adapt to what was around you and the viewpoints of the ones that are around you, then you were going to be made fun of, which I kind of was. I didn't have a strong voice, but I did have a different personality and I did have a different viewpoint, but I was scared and afraid and unable to share that. Um, and then upon moving to college, that's where I actually found myself and found who I am as a person. And I owe a lot of that to Nisha, and it's funny that she's asking this question because she was the person who brought me into her life and showed me that being me was okay, and being gay is okay, and she inadvertently taught me to love me. So yeah, thanks for that, Nisha. At the end of the day, I just want people to coexist. I want people to understand each other. I want everyone to love each other. And I think that is primarily the way that I have grown from that small child in Alabama to where I am now. So Brianna asks, do you have a trick that I do when I get stuck creatively? I think the biggest thing that I can do when I'm stuck creatively is just go outside get out of the office, get out of the apartment, and just go see the world because when you're locked down in one space for too long, you just kind of forget that there's a big world out there. And I think that's just the most important thing that I can do creatively. Alex Dunbar asked me the question that every RuPaul's Drag Race finalist gets asked. <laughs> if you could give your child self one piece of advice, what would it be? I would tell myself, to not be so selfish, number one. Number two, I would tell myself that just get through high school and you're eventually going to meet the people who become your chosen family. 
that doesn't mean that they have to take over as your family. That just means they're an extension of your family. And that you're not alone. And being you is okay. And eventually somebody's gonna tell you that. And eventually you're gonna believe that. And eventually you're gonna be a strong, very, very, very strong person. Um, who works extremely hard for what he wants and for lack of a better phrase it gets better <laughs> you know it really does okay and then we have Johnny Green who we all know he asks <laughs> who is your favorite person to collab with so far ha 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 and my comment to that was you're setting yourself up, you narcissist. Because I'm gonna say I had a blast filming with everyone and um, no collab I've done so far is my favorite. But if I had to choose a favorite, I wouldn't choose someone who asked me the question. I love you, Johnny. So that's all I have for this week. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more Q&As in the future. Leave a comment below. If I didn't get to one of your questions, I'll answer it down there. Also, please subscribe. Uh, you get an email notification every time there's a new video posted and you'll never miss one again. So yeah, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!